these are the parts that are sent to subzoom yeah we are in the factory of subzoom welcome follow me all right so here our workers at subzoom factory are following the process of the production of paddleboard and let's have a look at it step by step All right, so first we test each and every part of the board and then we assemble it. After finishing the inner dimension procedure, we carry out a number of other important tests to inflate the board to around 15 psi. The first test is about the depth of polarism and the height of turning up, which should be kept between 22 and 24. This leads to less resistance, more flexibility and overall better, better balance performance. The second test is about the level difference, which should be kept between 0.7 and 0.8 because it can ensure the best balance point when people stand on the paddleboard. The last test is to see whether the board leaks or not. And to do that, we leave the inflated board for 12 hours and then check it again afterwards. Carrying out these three important tests helps us ensure the best quality of our product. And now comes the time for the outer dimension, by which we mean the protective and decorative outer layer. Next, we mark the specific position of each of additional components, including the D-rings, the tail fin and the air valve. Afterwards, we glue them onto the board. Finally, the entire EVA has undergone a number of tests to ensure its anti-aging properties and high abrasion protection. And now the EVA mat bonding. Finally, the paddle boards need to stand for six hours to observe whether there is bigamy. The All unqualified products will be further strengthened to make sure that they are more reliable and beautiful. So after the two tests are completed, we deal with the glue overflowing beyond standard area and have to carry out a comprehensive test on the appearance of the paddle boards again. So finally, the packaging, so that the final product is complete. Finally, we will deliver these paddle boards to everywhere in the world. Our warehouses are located in the United States and Canada, allowing for faster shipping and more complete after-sales support.